Hey everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography. It's been a long morning, really good morning. Um, another Kingfisher tour this morning and I've been lucky again this year, this winter, to have a, a Kingfisher coming to my perch and he performed quote unquote really well for us again this morning, so that's awesome. But uh, the purpose of this video is not to talk about Kingfishers, it's to talk about tripod heads and a new one that I'm trying that I absolutely love at this point. And so if you're interested in hearing about this new tripod head that I'm using, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. Like I said in the introduction, I wanna talk about tripod head today, a new one that I'm using, relatively new to the market as well, and really unique uh, ball head. And it's called the Flex Shooter. And what it basically is, is a ball head inside a ball head that allows you to shoot with it like a standard ball head but also allows you to shoot action, like birds in flight, like I do a lot of, because the ball head on top here that's inserted inside the silver main ball acts like a gimbal head. It's spring tensioned, and that spring tension is adjustable with this wonderful little silver knob right here. And so it's just, it really is unique, and I've been using it now for about a week, I admit, not for very long, but I use it ev I've used it every day, so I've got quite a few hours already on this, and I love it. So, you know, I'll give you a little tour of, of the ball head itself. I mean, you can put it on you know, tripod, just like any other ball head. And normally, you know, if I'm out shooting birds in flight like I was this morning, Kingfisher, you know, I've got this, this gimbal head, relatively compact sidekick type. Uh, but now I've been sh shooting with this thing and, and it it's does everything that this does and more. So here's, here's, the, here's the walk around of, the, of this head. There's uh, some instructions on the top here that are rather important that I'll point out first. And it says lens direction this way, okay? So you always, when you set up, you basically want to set up uh, with the silver knob, lens direction that way, silver knob on your left, okay? And once you've you know, got it set like that, you're, you're pretty much ready to go. The, right now, the main ball, the silver one's locked down. Its tension is controlled with this lever right here. Uh, you can loosen it up. It'll move like a regular ball head. It's got a bubble level, like a lot of uh, heads have nowadays. So this can actually be used like a leveling plate. And so you can go ahead and level it out. So I'll do that right now. If I can do it, there we go. We'll go ahead and lock that down because I'm not gonna use it as a ball head uh, in the first example here. I'm gonna use it like a gimbal head. And so that's where this ball comes into play. Now, if you loosen up this silver knob quite a bit, you'll see that you get start getting some play in this inner ball in here. But it's spring tensioned, okay? It doesn't just flop around like a regular ball head would. And here's why that's important, right? So you bring something like this up here, my 600 F4, Canon R5, I don't know how much it weighs, 11 pounds total or something like that. Just place it right on there, right? Now here's, just like a regular gimbal head, the whole point of this, right, let me turn it, is so that you can balance this rig, right? So it doesn't flop around. So we'll go ahead and loosen this enough to where it can flop a little bit it can move so you can tell whether this is balanced or not. And that seems, it's not going forward, it's not going backward. So I'll tighten it now so it doesn't move. And then this is the level, this is the lever clamp version of this head. So it's got a lever clamp and it's real fast and easy like that. And now it's secured, right? Um, it would be even nicer if you had a, a shorter foot, I think. But for me, this has been working really, really well. And so once it's clamped in there now, now you can use the silver knob here. Let's turn it around right here to go ahead and get at the tension on the inner ball. 
and you can see that just like a gimbal head you have all range all axes of motion to track with and the really nice thing about this silver knob is that it's got very fine adjustment capabilities so if you let go of it now because I turned it it's not leveled anymore it wants to wants to fall backward a little bit but if you tension it up a little bit it'll stay up it'll stay down it'll stay basically anywhere anywhere you put it and so <clears throat> the ground's a little soft here and it's starting to get out of hand here a little bit so anyway it's just like a gimbal head along with a standard type ball head and I've been using it to, to shoot kingfishers uh, diving and stuff like that and it's been working just amazing for me and I love it I really love it now this knob you say what's that for well that's to tension the clamp right so you can adjust it if it's a little too loose you give it a little turn in it'll clamp a little bit harder for you right like that so whatever tension you need on that to clamp to your plate this is an Arca Swiss um, compatible clamp on here Arca Swiss plates pretty much standard stuff nowadays so it works really really well now that's the gimbal action and that's what I use most of the time but like if I'm on my Montana tour or something like that uh, we'll do astrophotography we'll do landscapes and things like that so here's where this thing is really cool as well so we'll take this beast off of here grab some a rig like this L bracket Canon 5D Mark III my old Canon and now you say okay lens direction this way well with an L bracket your plates in the opposite direction than it was on on that 600 f4 you say well if I try to do that it's the wrong way well it's bi-directional plate okay so you just set it in like that clamp it down again the lens direction is correct now we're going to go ahead and secure the inner ball and we'll go ahead and loosen up the main ball and now you shoot it just like you would a regular ball head right you flop it over if you want or whatever now L bracket right you want to shoot vertical fine flip it over shoot vertical just like that right so before when I went traveled gimbal head and ball head now just one head the flex shooter head right I'll tell you it's a really really unique system and to this point I have really no negatives I can really uh, put towards this at all after using it for about a week uh, a lot of hours already and a lot of pictures taken and uh, it's it's really worked flawlessly and unless something happens mechanically speaking on this in the near future I can't really see um, there being much of a of, of a problem uh, with uh, continuing to basically just take one ball head one head the flex shooter head with me uh, on my tours and, and uh, on my trips so I don't know I don't think there's a whole lot more I can really say about it other than I'll have a link to uh, more information about the head in the description of the video and of course if you really like it and you want to purchase one there'll be a way to purchase uh, one of these heads uh, as well through through that link and I will mention that this comes in three sizes the mini the pro which is this one and this is the lever clamp version of the pro comes in a, a version as well that does not have the lever clamp it just has a, a you know a, a knob like this to to tighten the, the, the Arca Swiss compatible clamp and then there's the extreme now this one is rated to hold hundred pounds and the extreme will hold 130 pounds I can't remember to tell you the truth what the what the mini will hold that rig this rig here you know what 11 12 pounds total 130 pounds 100 I mean 100 pounds 130 pounds for the extreme I mean wow you know so I think the, I think the pro is going to do just fine for me uh, over over time and so that's the that's the one I went with I didn't think the mini you know I wasn't quite sure so so I didn't get the mini but I went with the with the pro and it's it's really the a perfect size for for traveling for me and everything else so anyway that's about it and uh, until next time Stay safe, get out there, and uh, take some awesome images. See ya.